Hello students, in this video we would learn a few properties of triangles which will be very very useful in the topics coming in the next videos. So first of all, what is a triangle? A triangle is a closed flat or two dimensional figure bounded by three line segments and here you can see triangle A, B, C and a triangle has six elements that is three sides and three angles. Now in the given triangle we can observe that it contains three sides that is A, B that I am again drawing over I am overlapping it A, B after that this is side B, C and this is AC and three angles angle C A B so you can observe angle C A B so this angle is one of the angles second is angle A B C A B C so we can mark A B C like this and angle B C A this one so it is obvious that a triangle contains six elements and we can describe a triangle under the these six elements. Now we can observe that I am having two plane figures, flat figures, two dimensional figures. One is triangle and other is a quadrilateral. Now we can observe this is a quadrilateral if I apply a force on this quadrilateral then we can observe that what happens we can observe that on applying force it gets deshaped it remains quadrilateral but its shape gets changed but if the same amount of force is applied on this triangle then we observe that there is no change in its shape so we can just conclude that a triangle is the strongest figure among 2D figures. Now in a triangle if I talk about the area of the triangle then we can observe the area of a triangle is all of you know it very well area of triangle is half into base into altitude. Altitude means height. Now suppose we are having this triangle A B C now this triangle has three sides and we can consider any side as its base and suppose if BC is base then the corresponding altitude is the altitude which is drawn on BC from A and how do we draw it please see it very important I'm keeping a scale along the side BC and it is a set square. Now if I keep a set square like this so that it is coinciding with this side and we bring it like this. Now this is along A and if I draw a line like this then we get a perpendicular and this is perpendicular say it is P. Now the area of the triangle, so let I write area of triangle ABC as ABC as half. Now base is BC, so I can write BC and the corresponding altitude is AP. So I would like to repeat area of triangle is half into base and corresponding altitude, not only altitude only, corresponding means the altitude which corresponds the side BC. Suppose if I consider AC as the base, in that case if I consider it as a base, in that case the perpendicular is drawn like this. Again I keep the scale coinciding this side AC and again I keep this set square like this by coinciding it along this scale. So this is the perpendicular on side 
AC. So again, if I want to write the area of the triangle, then I can again write half into. Now, base I have considered AC and perpendicular is BQ. And in the same way, if I consider AB as the base, in that case, the perpendicular would be this one. So suppose this is R and it is perpendicular from C to side AB. Again, the area of the triangle can be written as area of triangle ABC. Here also area of triangle ABC can be written as half. Now in this case, base is AB and the corresponding altitude is CR. So in this way, we can see that a triangle can have base any one of these can be uh, under considered as base bc ab or ac but whenever we have to take altitude the corresponding altitude is considered now we can observe from here that this point the point of concurrence of these three altitudes is called ortho center ortho means perpendicular so the point where all the three perpendiculars of a triangle meet is called ortho center of the triangle now if i talk about uh, perpendiculars now in this triangle as it is an acute angle triangle as all of you know acute angle triangle now if i consider another triangle that is obtuse angle triangle so we can see its altitude it is not necessary that lies within the triangle it may be possible that the altitude lies outside of the triangle in the exterior of the triangle suppose this is a triangle pqr you can clearly observe here that angle pqr is an obtuse angle so this triangle is an obtuse angled triangle if i draw a perpendicular from p to qr in that case we can observe that the altitude lies outside the triangle so i am drawing it and in order to show the altitude i have to reproduce rq and on reproducing rq we get this altitude suppose it is pa now if i draw a perpendicular from q to base pr on the side pr so again i consider this scale with pr and draw a perpendicular from q to this base pr so here is the perpendicular in the same way if a perpendicular is drawn from r to pr so we can observe that here in this case again the perpendicular is lying in the exterior of the triangle so it is obvious it lies in the exterior of the triangle so it must be clear that the altitude may lie within the triangle or it may lie in the exterior of the triangle and it is dependent on the case whether the triangle is acute angle triangle or obtuse angled triangle in case of a right triangle we can observe that the two perpendiculars lie along two sides now abc is a right angle triangle with right angle at point b at the vertex b ab is perpendicular to bc and cb is perpendicular to ab so the two perpendiculars lie along the sides of the triangle and the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse now b m is perpendicular to ac now here we can also observe that the three perpendiculars uh, that is ab cb and bm all meet at the same point that is b now here b is also the ortho center of the triangle now another very important concept which is related to triangles is 
that is median of the triangle and it will be used in the coming lessons and coming topics so a median of a triangle is a line segment joining a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side now here i am having a triangle pqr in this triangle we are having three vertices p q and r uh, i have already marked the midpoints of the sides so if i consider p as one vertex and the side opposite to p is q r and if i join p to the midpoint of the opposite side then i get this as one of the medians suppose it is a so p a is one of the medians of this triangle and as a triangle has three vertices and three sides so therefore obviously triangle has three medians again if i draw median through q then q is a vertex and the opposite side is pr and if i join the midpoint of pr to q then i obtain the second median say it is qb and the third median if i talk about to r and to the midpoint of the opposite side i get c so here we also observe that all the three medians of the triangle are concurrent concurrent means the lines which pass through the same point two more than two point, uh, lines here these are three lines or line segments pa qb and rc these are three line segments and these pass through the same point so we call them concurrent line segments and the point of their concurrence is called centroid of the triangle centroid centroid of the triangle and it is a very important point within the triangle as it is the center of gravity of the triangle if i try to rotate this triangle along this point g then it can be done with great ease if this point is exact in that case it can be balanced easily and it can be balanced easily as we can observe and if i try to rotate it with a little practice then i can do it uh, i have not done a great practice but even then i am trying to rotate it now we can see that it can be rotated easily so that's all for this video thank you thanks a lot and try to find out the importance of centroid and the ortho center of a triangle how these two points are important and how these are used in our daily life please try to find out that let us see or let us meet in the next video thank you thank you very much